Good afternoon. My name is George Megan and I'm running as independent candidate for this locality, the constituency of Gillingham and Rayner. We're standing here on the corner of Sappers Walk and Gillingham High Street. And this is the old Conservative Club right here. Do we love politicians? Well, one who passed away just the other day was in fact much loved, Michael Foote, from the great era of the great socialist leaders. But today, New Labour is, no, is not socialist. In fact, Mr Tony Blair is actually much closer to being a Liberal Democrat than he is a socialist. And as for loyalty and party loyalty, the people who run in these elections are not usually ideological. They just go to where the uh, team that seems to be winning. And the candidate for Gillingham Conservative is also a candidate, I'm told, for Labour in somewhere else. So you see what I mean? Mrs Thatcher, a few years back, she dressed in Labour red and went to see Mr Gordon Brown. She was actually showing her disregard for Mr Cameron. Of course, that may have changed, but that was the clear message, and one of her acolyte MPs actually switched from Conservative to Labour shortly afterwards. So that's where loyalty comes from. Mr Cameron has unquestionably saved the Conservative Party from going into third position. And that's a, that's a sadness, because had the Conservatives gone into third position, then proportional representation would have come in, which would have allowed, which would have allowed all the hugely talented people in Gillingham and Raynham to be elected. So, Mr Cameron, very brilliant in many qualities, but he is not like us. He is not like the people of Gillingham or Raynham. He is a multi-millionaire, and at the age of 11, for example, the billionaire John Paul Getty financed his trip to America to attend a kiddie chum party. How does that work with the people of Gillingham? I'm a local person. I worked at the Ford Dagenham plant in Essex, actually. I also work down a coal mine as a trainee face worker, so I have a more socialist background than the Labour candidate for this seat. So what does it what does it all mean? Mr Cameron, he was a member of the Bullingdon Club, the multi-millionaire dinner club at Oxbridge. His training was in politics, his degree is in politics, yet at the age of 26 he was an advisor to the Chancellor of the Ex Exchequer, Mr Norman Lamont. 26 year old with no economic training was an advisor. How could such a thing possibly happen in the United Kingdom with so many Nobel Prize winners in economics for example? What should we think about that? His background at Eton means connections, and that's a very key part. And being a multi-millionaire, at no point in that man's history has he ever had that moment when, I can't manage. The ostensible next Chancellor of the Exchequer, Mr Osborne, son of a baronet. Mr Osborne did not study any economics at all. He did a third-class history degree. And his background is, is on uh, yachts of oligarchs, the Russian oligarchs, with his chum in the Mediterranean. This is so unlike the life of the people of Gillingham and the people of Gillingham High Street passing here. He is not one of us. And I note that in the shadow cabinet they have the business secretary, Mr Clark, who was a chancellor of the Exchequer, uh, and a very successful Chancellor of the Exchequer, but yet he is not the candidate Chancellor of the Exchequer today. The unqualified history degree graduate Mr Osborne is, but the qualified Chancellor is not. He's to be Business Secretary. But if we bring in Mr Clark, 
then we bring in the old issue of the Conservatives, which is nastiness. And I was honoured in Kobe, Japan, to be introduced by the Yomuri Shimbun, the newspaper, one of the biggest newspapers in the world, to meet Lady Thatcher. And she was railing against Mr. Clark, who had refused to shake hands with her at the Brighton Conference. So, so much for relationships between these people. If you can see any difference at all between the Conservatives and the Labour, then you should vote for them. But they are, in essence, identical. Now, you may be interested that the Conservative Party, it's not its correct name. It is the Conservative and Unionist Party. And these people are talking about change as a slogan, but they can't even be bothered to change their name, because unionist means union with Ireland. And how many people in Gillingham care for union with Ireland? One. And how many people in Ireland care for union with England? So that's where change is. I would suggest you vote for a local person who went to the local schools and who has represented this community around the world and I also brought back to this community the most world records that have ever been brought back in my younger day. And this is where I consider home. Thank you very much.